Hey, Maria, how are you doing today? Awesome. Good, good. So, so I was thinking when a artist wants to uh, set a, t a professional tone for a business deal, when people approach them, what are some things that they can do right away to set it up and make sure that people are serious and it's a real deal? Love this question because people are going to waste your time, especially when you're new, but even if you've been doing this for 20 years, they'll approach you, want you to work up sketches, no money, if no money is exchanged, they're going to waste all your time and half of them will disappear and you've wasted your time. So here's what you do from the very first conversation. Five words should come out of your mouth before anything else. And I want you to write this down. And these are the words that come out of your mouth. This is how I work. Those are five words. This is how I work. So when you start your answer to that, okay, so the so when someone says, how much would it cost or what would it take to get you to do this? You say, this is how I work. Those are five words. And then after those words, you say, let me first get an understanding of what it is you need. Then I'll give you a written price quote by email. You can write it on a piece of paper. I don't how you care how you give it to them. I usually do email. I'll give you a written price quote. The next step after that, if you're ready to get started, I'll need a 50% installment payment from you. Then I'll work up the sketches. And once it's finished and you're happy with it, I'll send you the, uh, I'll get pay, final payment from you and then I'll send you the high res images or I'll give you the painting or whatever it is you're delivering. But by saying those five words first, this is how I work, what you're doing is you're stopping, you're saying, I'm a professional, I'm in the driver's seat, I have a process, I'm leading the process, and so the very next step is for me to get an understanding, then I give you a price quote, then you give me money, then I work on sketches, or I start working on the project. Do you all have a minimum number of sketches or changes that you place inside the contract? Okay, and yeah, so, how does that work? So for us, what we do is in the quote, so if they want, let's say it's an original painting and it's a $2,000 painting, we get $1,000 up front, we, um, then Drew will provide sketches. Oh, and in the price quote, I'll say it's 2000 Installment payment required to get started is a thousand, and what's included in that price is a painting on an eighteen by twenty-four canvas, and you get up to two. You get two sketches included in that price. Any changes beyond two sets of sketches are billed at an additional amount of $200 per sketch change. The dollar amount doesn't matter. You can charge $20. I don't care about that. Um, what matters is that you put a limit on the sketches. And what I have found is, see, we used to not do a limit. And we had some clients that would make 50 changes. Well, we learned pretty quick, though, to put a limit on it. After we put the limit on it, let me tell you, People don't make changes after two sketches. And, and the reason why is because they are crystal clear at the very beginning of what they want. So in the case of a client that might change their company name halfway through, which I've had that happen, um, they have, they, we start over and they pay a new deposit and they're paying more because it's more work. It's not the artist's fault if they changed what they wanted halfway through. That's and excellent. We've also got, and, and we also, there was one case where we got an installment payment. It was like a $2,500 painting. The guy paid half. It was a very personal painting for this guy where it had a lot of personal elements in it to him. The painting was finished. He never paid for it. He never, he disappeared. A long period of time went by and I eventually sold that painting and I did not give the guy his money back because it was twice the amount of work just to sell it to someone else 
Um, but that's how it works. An installment payment is not returned to someone. So, that so when they pay you that installment, they're committed. They're as committed as you are. So that, that installment payment also helps just cover the hours used that could have been billed on another client and you're, you're not, you're not wasting your time. Okay. Very good. Okay. Well, thank you, Maria. I appreciate it. Uh, if you want more information, please visit mariabrophy.com and sign up for her newsletter. It's, it's a great resource. All right. Thank you.